Hello, this is Arjun and I for another episode of, or this is technically the third episode of my little C++ tutorial series. Okay, so we've done Hello World, right here, we've done the variable program, and now we're going to create a new project, and we're, we are going to call this, um, I'm going to call it Conditionals, although, probably like the worst name ever. Um, okay... So now I get this, right click on source files, add new item, C++, um, main, okay. So again, like always, I'm going to type out the code, and then we can discuss it all. Okay, so I just I just um typed out all the code. I'm just now gonna make sure it works. Pick a number five. Okay, so we're encountering the same problem that I encountered in the um, variables episode. If you watch that, um, which I highly suggest doing because I'm gonna build on knowledge from previous tutorials to um make these tutorials so yeah let's see if this works um five good um eleven okay good so basically let's go through the code first three lines actually I'm gonna do something Cool. So this area you've seen before, right? 
So that is going to look familiar to you. Um, the C out statement is going to look familiar to you. C in dot get. C in. Oh, that was bad. And this statement. Okay. Other than that, you have this whole new thing. And then you have this. Which is all new to you, so I'm going to explain that now. So, stuff's going bye-bye. Okay. So, you know what this line does. It creates two variables, A and B. A is going to be set to 10. B is going to be set to null. Okay, and then it says print at null pick a number, it puts that number that they picked into B, because it's like funneling it into B, and then if, okay, so this is the new syntax. So this is if else statements, so basically if this, do this. If this, do this. And if it's anything else, do that. So here it's saying if B is less than A, so the number that they picked is less than 10, it's going to say your choice is too low. And then you have to press enter and then it quits. Now, if it's more than, it's going to be handled by this exception. And then it's going to say, you guessed too high, enter, quit. And then if you're right on, by, and I just used this else instead of else if with the whole parentheses thing. Because else just means if anything else happens. If anything that's not declared here or here it's going to do whatever's between um it's going to do whatever's between these parentheses specifically that parenthesis and that parenthesis okay so yeah now i'm just going to talk a little bit about this so basically all of this is technically all within one statement because it's all based off the same thing so what it does is it goes from top to bottom. So it first looks at the first one. Is it like, okay, so is B less than A? If it is, do this. If it's not, skip it. Okay, then it looks at this one. Is it greater than A? Um, let's say it is. Go through here. If it's not, it would skip it. And it says anything else. So then this always gets um, triggered if these two were not. Um, and since it's if it's greater than or less than, the only possible configuration here is if it's equal to. Now, let's say I wanted to have an else if statement for this. I would say if B is equal. Whoa, what's wrong there? If B is equal to A, then you do that. Okay, so this is gonna look so weird. Why you're gonna be saying is that a mistake? Why do you put two equal signs there? And um, well. Whenever you're, compar whenever you're comparing two variables in an else if statement, a while loop, a for loop, anything like that, it's going to be two equal signs. Now, if you're setting something to it, it's going to be a single equal sign up there. And that can be a little confusing. So, um, make sure that you do that. Okay, and the last thing I want to say is, even though I have return zero statements inside of the, um, whatever you want to call them, if statements, um, e like, okay, so if I were to delete all of these, okay, the program would run the, run the same, because there's still this. So basically what it does is it executes one of these, one of these three, and then once it's executed one of those three, it goes to everything else after that, and in this case it's return zero, so it's going to work the same way, because five is going to be low, 6 is also going to be too low, that's going to be too high, but 10 is going to be just right, so it operates the same way, so that's really important. Now, you want to make sure that you know where you've saved this one, because this one we're going to be using for, I think, the next two tutorials, if not three. And we're going to make this game a bit better and build on it, learning how to do while loops, for loops, random time stuff, and all that good stuff. So yeah, please tune, please subscribe and comment, and tune in to the next episodes and the previous episodes. Thanks, bye.